Welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. And hopefully you'll be able to hear a little bit of the background music because there's some production value this time. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, production value. But so much for that. Back to normal. Moshe's thing is too much stuff. I'm trying to figure out stuff anyway. Again, welcome to the hobo and his girlfriend. Wrestling podcast. And there you just saw a picture of my girlfriend from the first time, very first time we went out on our third date. The WCPW show here in Orlando. And that was during WrestleMania week weekend. And it is officially WrestleMania weekend. You can always tell that. One, because all the wrestling fans, for some reason, have podcasts now, including this guy. But also, Pro Wrestling Tees at ProWrestlingTees.com, where you can almost get a Bullet Club shirt. Although I got this from Hot Topic. But Pro Wrestling Tees. Probably see me wearing some other pro wrestling t shirts. And I still have one more to get. One more for my girlfriend. I think I've ordered a couple of them. Really good. Again, pro wrestling keys.com starts at 20% off sale. Again, it's the start of WrestleMania weekend. Also, I'd like to shout out to Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Again, I will get you more information on that as I can. And Lucha Libre, great stuff. Fun stuff. And actually, we're going to see. Almost some semi lucha libre, or at least two of them, two participants. Now, well, soon. Um, a little bit about the show is that this is going to be a whole recap about my WrestleMania weekend experience from last year when they came down to Orlando. And it was fun. It's one of those things you do have to experience. This was my second WrestleMania. The first one, again, they were, I have the cheap seats in Boston, Stone Cold wrestled. It was 18. And I'm getting old. Don't forget. Oh, but also, Lens is over. I'm taping this on Thursday, kind of Friday-ish morning. So, there's one thing. Thursday, my beer ration. Oh, after 40 days. Here we go. I'll be drinking that. And that was glorious. But to move on to the show, this was again WrestleMania weekend's a huge wrestling weekend. I think just that weekend alone they had like forty shows. And I managed somehow to get tickets to the WCPW event. Really fun show. They're now defiant. Uh, some of the wrestlers I'm not too sure of. My memory's a little bit fuzzy, and I just have bad videos. And this is when I was just learning how to take videos with my little camera. I'm not too sure how well that's going to go. But, oh, yeah, first beer bench after line. I felt good. Um, this, again, this was one year ago. It was really fun. Um, some wrestlers and some famous pe- and some YouTube famous people. So again, you want to like and subscribe. Email please at hobo and his girlfriend.com or no hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. And again, if you do comment or send an email, your email will get read live. Or at least you'll see the broadcast of it. And I'll try to throw in little things depending on what you ask for. Again, I have to be careful about copyright stuff. I still have my punishment phase to go through. Hopefully by SummerSlam I'll be able to live stream again. Or at least, yeah, about SummerSlam. Again, but saying about that, one day you could even see this guy at an event. Especially here in Daytona Beach. And if you actually watch the show, I might give you a free autograph. I'm not but at this WCPW show, 
you saw two internet celebrities. Yes, they are the famous Steve here and Larson. They are the famous Steve here and Larson. And again, it was a whole it was a whole bunch of fun. You could see, see wrestlers, you get to see wrestlers up close. Um, a funny story I'll get to later about my girlfriend and one of the wrestlers. So right now I just have, have a picture of David Starr, I think. And this guy, the fake hobo. There's only one real hobo, and that's Hobo Tom. I should have gotten in that ring and bit his nose off. Peed all over the place and marked that territory. That's a, that's a other issue. But again, there's only one real hobo. Hobo Tom. I go out there and get my aluminum. Try to work. So you have fake Hobo Joe. And also, one of the treats is that this was Matt, Matt Stryker. Matt Stryker actually did wrestle in WWE. Now he's an announcer on Lucha Underground. He came out in his Lucha Underground shirt. And you know what? That was a thrill to see. I guess the good thing about being old and seeing a whole bunch of stuff is that you get to, you get to see things. And, and again, I can say I, all the events and people I've seen, some unfor unfortunately in a melancholy way passed away. And I can say, you know what? I remember when I saw the Macho Man. That was the biggest thrill, even though I was freaking two rows from the top. I'm like, oh, there's the Macho Man. Yeah. No one knows what's going to happen with the Macho Man around. It will be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, the Mass Striker was there. I um, saw Jim Cornette, another big name. Managed the Midnight Express. Yes. Not the Rock and Roll Express, the Midnight Express. And a couple others. Again, really big in the, in the wrestling industry. The, the one thing, the, the show was fraught with technical issues. If you thought this show has issues, they had issues. You couldn't get, you couldn't get the mitral work. The sound system sucked. Can not bear, not hear or barely hear the wrestler's entrance. One announcer needs to wear a belt, and you shall see why. <laughs> oh, look at his underwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that's right. <coughs> Oh, no, no. Nice pumping up, Kenny! He's just poking pots, Kenny. He's just poking pots at underwear. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey! 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 So again, with the intro, again, it was, I tried to explain it to my girlfriend, like, what's going on, and why are people enchanting. And in the first match, I have no idea who these two were. All I know is that this was a ham sandwich match. The only thing I really remember is I was chanting, flippy stuff, flippy stuff, flippy stuff. And the big guy said, no flippy today. And you can guess what he said. I, I there's going to be a lot of bad four-letter words with the crowd chants, so I want to keep it to a minimum, I hope. Or else my girlfriend, who has a real job, but you already saw the picture of her wrestling that Candice LeRae shirt. Again, we'll get to that a little bit later. It was cool, though. I thought it was cool. Although I, had a lot, although I wanted to bite someone's nose off, too. And shove it down his throat. Or make someone else eat it. You'll find out why. Our next contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing first.
again, you have these two. Again, the the, the uh, real Technico guy and the big Pounder guy. It was, it was fun. It was a ham sandwich match. Um, from there, we had Adam Bompier. Again, we wish him the best of luck with whatever he chooses to do. From there, you had a tag team action. And wow, I forget their names. fun that was really cheeseburger match i think i enjoyed i enjoyed it oh i remember because one they they left through the crowd and two in the one spot guy pulled his guy threatened to pull his trunks down and say and kiss my face he had his face on the he had his face on the back of his trunks he made the other guy kiss his face it was funny my girlfriend appreciates it she doesn't like foul words it's very mean and cranky and mad at me. It gives me dirty looks when I say bad things most of the time, or 99% of the time. Sometimes that 1% I am right, and I say, I told you so. Another player go from the face. Then you had another good cheeseburger match. This was, again, kind of a special match. It was Joey Ryan versus Primate. And again, if you know Joey Ryan, he comes out to look like Manny sleeves ball, all, all, all hairy. He's even hairier than I am. That's scary. I'm a pretty hairy guy. And Prime H is a big guy. He beats up people. Um, the one thing I would like to mention is Prime H actually no longer wrestling. Unfortunately, because he's broken his jaw so often, he's fourth in three retirement. Again, I wish him the best of luck. He's opening a wrestling school in England. I think that's where he's based out of. Again, Primate, best of luck. You were awesome, WCPW. Awesome, awesome, and defiant. Wish you the best. Um,
Um, so again, you have the intro with these two, and it's fun. It's a Joey Ryan intro. Again, some of the fun parts of the match: Joey Ryan sleaze ball sixes, blow just like I saw sixes blow pop in someone's mouth. Um, there's primate to touch him down there. It's like, go ahead, touch it. Of course, this was after he did the the, the fame the fame the famous flip with with the dingus flip or the dong style flip, the dong flip. YouTube that if you've never seen the dong flip. But that's a whole other issue. The really cool thing about this, he was I think signing autographs, and at the beginning of the show, my girlfriend and I got to kind of mill around a little bit. I just I just wanted to go to my seat. She said, Oh, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep an eye on her. Anyone ever touched her, gets that elbow and your nose bitten off. Darn it. You leave my girlfriend, you leave my girlfriend alone. Again, get the bionic elbow. But she actually did meet Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan said, nice shirt. And that's because I got her the Candice LeRae shirt with the, with, the, with the blood all over it, or at least half of it. And she came out to that guy, that guy had a nice t-shirt. I'm like, who? Oh. And looked, I'm like, that's Joey Ryan. He said you have a nice shirt. That's awesome. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, he, she's like, who's that? It's like, well, Joey Ryan, they were the world's cutest tag team. And they're matching her ball plex and his boob plex. Again, indie YouTube legend. So again, it was kind of cool. Again, when you see the wrestlers in person, a lot of them do have a lot of good personalities. Um, Bobby Fish was, was okay. I, I, I almost got a Bobby Fish shirt. I think it was cool. It just had an infamous definition of that. It was kind of cool. But I didn't have the money. I think he was charging like 25 bucks or something. It was 5 bucks to pick his picture. I'm like, yeah, whatever. So again, we had that match. Then you had... Jack the job or Jew the job, I guess. Is or he was in a match or something, got pinned. The guy who ever did it from the prestige left his left Joey Ryan championship belt in the garbage. That is one of those hardcore belt deals can be defended 24 7 by whoever. Jack the Jabber picked up that garbage. Joey Ryan said, ah -ah! Jack the Jobber, you know what to do. In fact, the job were laid down, did the job to Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan wins again. Again, I think Joey Ryan had like 40 appearances like that whole weekend. Great worker. Again, reasons why I'm not a professional wrestler. I'll re I could wrestle once a week, and then my ribs would hurt, my feet would hurt, my head would hurt, my back would hurt, everything would hurt. The one thing I can probably stand is just the traveling and just the bumps on the night. I could. Just the traveling, especially in the Indies, the traveling, then having to have another job, and not not not, not worth it. Not my idea of fun.
So from there, King Ross comes out. You're going to see some fun, th again, fun things. Pretty good crowd. You have a triple threat with David Starr, Mike Elgin, and Bobby Fish. And again, this is a cheesy ringer match. It's really fun. Really good spots. The next match, now you have Alligator Ole, 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 Ole. Versus King Ricochet, King Ricochet, Prince Puma, King Ricochet. And there was some big chance again, kind of opening match. It was fun. They went back and forth. It, it was 
King Leguero, El Ricochet. King Leguero, El Ricochet. They kind of trade gimmicks. It was fun. Even the ref got involved. He was King Referee, El Referee. Again, really fun. Great match. It was, it was fun overall. This, lend, this then, then led to the main event, a good hard-hitting match between Rampage and, at the time, Drew Galloway. Oh, Jeffrey. This <laughs>
not Galilee though. Where is it? I don't know. I'll f- go do some research. Go write some notes. Again, it is after lunch. I can have my beer though. And that's really it for the WCW. And I think this was our third date with my ever gorgeous girlfriend, whose picture I will put up again now. Babe, I love you. Get my little sweetie up there. Her props. We will actually hear from her, and we are and we're going to make our predictions for one NXT takeover and two. The show shows the showcase of stars for Grand Puba WrestleMania. So again, please like and subscribe. Um, also, leave a comment. Again, if I do get your comment, I will respond to your comments, and you will get your shout-out on YouTube. Also, please feel free to email at hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. Again, We'll see us shortly. NXT predictions and WrestleMania predictions. For everyone, again, I am at home drinking. Stay